He says that you must believe that God raised Jesus from the dead and then confess Him with your mouth. So you can't even begin without having to believe something that God has said or done. Is that right? Now, where along this road, where are we, do we think that we can change and begin to walk by sight and not by faith, not by what God said? People think just because you walk by faith means that you're just going to walk by something you never see, you never experience, you never have. That's not true. That's, that's the opposite. Walking by faith means that you will have, you will experience, all the things that God has for you. And you can't have them unless you do. Amen. I said amen. So if we can't get born again without believing God and confessing with our mouth things that God said, how are we going to receive anything from God? Amen. Praise God. Do you know people say, I don't believe in that Holy Ghost? Well, then I guess you'll never have Him, will you? Will you? You'll never be filled if you don't believe. Well, I don't believe in that healing. I guess you'll never have it, will you? Everything from God has to be received. Everything. Nothing is automatic. You receive things from God. Are you hearing? Yes. You receive your healing from God. Okay. It's not automatic. I said amen. So this has you know, been a big problem for a lot of people. They think God, because He's God, it's automatic. He'll do what He wants to when He wants to do it and how He wants to do it. And if He don't want to do it and it's not His will, then it, well, it don't happen or it won't happen. That's a lie of the devil, friend. That's, that's not true. That's not God at all. Never. Never, never, never is it God. God does not operate like that. Now, there is certain things that God put in His own power. He said will happen. And it doesn't matter if you believe it or not. I said, Amen. I said, amen. The disciples on that day asked Jesus, said, will, will you at this time restore the kingdom? He said, that's not for you to know. He said, they've been things put in, and God has put in his own power. In other words, when the time comes, it will be done. But these other things are not that way. These other things about healing and, and all this thing is left up to you, friend. Whether you will believe God and receive from him. Amen. Amen. And the Holy Ghost in so many places is called the gift. The gift. The gift of, of grace. The gift of salvation. All these are gifts and they must be received. Praise God. So he that believes on him can receive from him. Jesus said if you continue in my word, then you'll be my disciple. I mean, no, you have to continue in His Word. And if you don't continue, then you're going to come to the place that the world is going to overcome you and you won't have the wisdom of God, you won't have the knowledge of God, and you won't have the fellowship and the relationship with Him that you're supposed to have, and the world will overcome you. You'll find yourself without hope. You'll find yourself, well, what's the use? One preacher said one time, a great preacher, great man of God said he heard a preacher preaching and the time he got done preaching it made him feel like he was just an old dog. Might as well to go to the lake and before he jumps in said, well, here goes nothing. <laughs> said before he jumps in the lake, say, here goes nothing. Well, you know what? The, the word is not supposed to make us feel like that. No, because we're the people of God. We're, we're, we're a people 
friends that are overcomers by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of His testimony. The Bible says that greater is He that is in us than he that is in the world. I believe every word of it. There is no situation that can take, take man over, that can overcome him, none at all, unless you let it. Amen. Yes. Sickness is not a problem for God. Disease is not a problem for God. God has dealt with those things. Sin is not a problem with God. God has dealt with those things. It's just what you believe. Oh, Praise God. I believe. Amen. Amen. You believe by His stripes you're healed? Yes. Well, then just act on it. Act on it. Believe God. Act like it's so. That's the real evidence if you act like it. You can say with your mouth all day long. Confess till you you know, till you get tired of confessing. Well, by his stripes I'm healed, and by his stripes I'm healed. All you gotta do, friend, is just believe it. And then act like it. I found this to be true. Praise God. Amen. Amen. 